five because of this right here, right? And then three, right? So perfect. So, you know, so this right here, it's gonna be eight. Check. We're good. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask y'all too. Does that make sense? Yeah, but you just, I mean, because I'm so behind, you go fast. To them, you're probably not going fast, but I'm trying to write it down. And listen, this one's not hard. Not Girl, anybody use your multitasking skills? Not him, man. He's Alex. He don't need to And he help a lot. Like, he help a whole lot. But Alex, you need to get on that Alex yeah. pop, and it'll take you through everything. And it'll yeah. Yeah. And everything. yeah, I just got my, my things. That's yeah. why I don't. I print out everything on there too. Mm -hmm. I do. I print out. I do. I have everything I do. I print it out. I got me a notebook right here. Yeah, I write it out. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'll get it in, huh? Yeah, I'll get it in. So, on the next one, 4 plus 2 times 6 squared. Now, in this case here, 6 squared, we know is how much? 36. 36, right? So, with that being said, we're going to do our S1 at first, which is 36, and then. Um, times two, we're gonna go backwards here, plus four. Now, according to PEMDAS, what step is next? Multiplication. Multiplication, right? Going before the, the addition, right? So 36 times two, you can't just, and, and let me ask you this question, why can I go not go from left to right? Because you messed up. I'm still trying to figure out how you got 36. It's silly. 36 times two. 36 oh. times six. This is the same thing as two. six times six. Oh, okay. If it was six to the third power, two, two I mean, times six, six times six times six, times six, times six, times six, times six. Okay. Well, we don't want that number, but you know that is. <laughs> All right, so 36 times two is 72, right? right. Seven, Plus six. four. Add those up, and we get 76. Check. We're good. Okay? Uh -huh. Order of operations, okay. dots. All right? Any questions on that so far? All right, straight. So now, um... Evaluate the expression. Of course, evaluate means <coughs> not to solve, but just to evaluate. So y equals 5, x equals 3, and in the, in the, uh, the expression x plus 5y. Who can tell me what we're supposed to do here? I know x plus 5y is my expression, right? But to evaluate, I have to plug it in, right? I got to place something into something else. Right? So here, my x is what? What's my x going to be? Three, right? Three. Put the five this right here is going to be three because of this. Mm -hmm. Plus five. I place my five uh, with that, mm -hmm. and I get that. Does that make sense mm -hmm. so far? Eight. 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 Wait a minute. Okay. Hold up. So that five on the right in the parentheses <coughs> From over there? Yes. Okay. You place what number is equal to, and you place it into the expression. So this guy right here went there, where y was. Okay? So now, 3 plus 25 is 28. Check. Okay. okay. Any questions? Pretty simple, right? Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, all right, all right, cool. So now, we're going to move on to the next one. It's going to be perimeter. What is perimeter? Surface The area. real perimeter, what is it? Length <laughs> times width? Nope, that's area. The surface area of the object? Not surface area, I said perimeter. <laughs> Think about, okay, if I, if I go to your house and I'm like, what is the perimeter of your house? What do I care about? Square foot. No, that's area. Hmm? If your house, y'all, look, if your house, I mean, I know what it is, and then I have it's the area. If your house is right here, it's the area. Right? If your house, and I, I want to walk the perimeter of your house, and what do I do? Go outside and walk around. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> All right, so I, I go outside and I walk around, right? right. Which means I walk the distance it's around the something. Okay. It's the perimeter, right? Okay. 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 So, with that being said, we got the figure. Draw that. So I got this, 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 and then, okay, four centimeters, 16. Y'all be acting holy like y'all don't even know what it is. <laughs> y'all 
my big job boyfriend house, tiptoeing and walking around. <laughs> Y'all don't know. <laughs> they don't ring the doorbell talking about ding dong. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> All right, so there's something missing though, right? What is it? Where am I missing? The body. The body. The, uh, All right, the piece right here, right? What should that piece be? What's the distance to that piece? How many centimeters should it be? Hmm? One or two. You said one and two? One, five. Three, two. Eight, five, seven, one three, two. I'm confused. How many centimeters should it be? This is the bottom piece, huh? Are we subtracting something to get that? The yeah, we are. It would be five centimeters, wouldn't it? So it's five, right? From the 11 to 6. Wow. This 16, center, and 16 and the 16 minus 11. The whole thing. Yeah. Okay. It's the five. Eric said minus 11. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. So I put a dotted line right there, right? <coughs> so total thing is 16 minus 11 from here to here leaves five piece. That what you order when you go to church is chicken. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> she goes to Popeye's. <laughs> All right, so five, right? Now I gotta do my distance around. So 16 plus four plus 11, plus 6, plus 5, plus 10 is my situation. And then 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 11 is 31. 31 plus 6 is 37. 37 plus 5 is 52. Right? No, 37 plus 5 is 42. 42 plus 10 is 52, right? So my answer is 52 centimeters across the board is my first Okay. What was the, um, I missed the first one. What up? Was the, was the one in the black over here number one? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, the reason why we could not use the equation P equals 2L plus 2W is because it looks like a cut off rectangle, but it's not a rectangle, right? A right. form. Right. So, we can't use 2L plus 2W. It doesn't follow the format, the pattern we're looking for. Mm -hmm. All right? Any questions? All right, cool, y'all doing good. So on number five, Dale lost $55 from his pocket. I mean, we can't get it together, though. Right. You can't just lose $55. You can't just lose $5, let alone $55. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> so somebody could have got some gas with it, right? Mm -hmm. So why does sign numbers represent this change? <coughs> if he lost $55, oh. what symbol did that? Negative. Negative. Minus, so he starts off his day, well, no, he ends his day, right? Let's say it's a Friday. Mm. Ain't got nothing to do. So he, he's about to get out of work, and he's like, dang. Oh, y'all, what I want to do I was sending him to the gas station, and he was on straight E, y'all. And, and he had exactly $55 <laughs> in his pocket. And he lost the $55. He going to be on foot real quick. Thumb up and head. <laughs> he going to be going 0 to 100 on his feet. All right, so here we have negative 55 is what our symbol is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and that's right. Check. Okay? A growing animal, right? That's like some of these teenagers nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. Gain six pounds, right? Gain six pounds. Write a sign number towards the next So we're plus or minus? Plus. Plus, plus right? Gain means plus. Mm -hmm. Just like in football, gain, yardage, right? Mm -hmm. Same situation. Any questions on that? Does that make sense so far? So you good so far, see? Boy, that was hard. <laughs> Hot mess. Okay, so <laughs> now I'm going to erase this part. I'm so glad I got the eraser in some sort, somewhat. That other one, ooh, wait. I was like, I can't. Not today, but tomorrow. So, six is add the following 37 plus. A minus 57. Now, let me kind of say something real quick. <clears throat> when you have a plus and minus back to back, like this, you're going to, it's almost like you're doing this. Like 37, you kind of test the waters out. Like, and you like, I want to move forward. But I end up what? Backwards. Moving back, because the minus 57, right? So it's just like doing 37, we replace the symbol from a plus minus to a straight Minus sign. Boom. 37 minus 57 is going to be what? How much? 20. Negative 20, right? Because 
the, you take the sign of the greater number, which is 57, like the high sign, right? So negative 20 is my answer. Does that make sense to you? Okay? Start, you take the sign of the, high, the greatest number. <coughs> okay. B, part of 6. Says negative 15 plus a negative 27. The way I kind of explain this without using numbers is, let's say somebody outside was negative, right? They had a negative attitude. People already in this class were already negative, right? But everybody was just down it. Like, they were just a hot mess. Like, everybody lost their job on the same day. Okay? So, person comes in aggravated and just mad or whatever. And they're adding to the negative situation that's occurring in this classroom, right? So, more negative added to existing negative is only going to be a result of what? And more negative situation, right? Same thing here. I'm already negative. I'm adding more negative. So my answer is going to be a negative something. But I got to add my number together. So 27 plus 15 is going to be what? 42. So I'm going to go on ahead and put 42 right here. And it's going to be negative 42. Check. We're done with that Okay. Huh? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> that girl right there, boy. No. The number is seven. <laughs> All right, number seven says negative 27 <clears throat> minus 25. Mind you, this is the same thing, folks, <coughs> as really this. Remember, when you have a plus and minus but right next to each other, you can replace it with a minus sign. So this could have been negative 15, technically minus 27, and I still would have got that. This is the same rule. So negative added to more negative is going to be negative something. 27 plus 25 is what? Negative 2. 50 something? 52. So 52 is this one. Check. Done deal. Really simple. Okay. What about B? B is 10 minus a negative 9. Now, y'all know the negative and the negative is a positive. positive. So, ne or 10 minus a negative 9. We're going to convert the negative to negative right here to a plus sign. And we get 19. Okay. That's on 7. Now, we're going to hit up number 8 real quick. It's a division and multiplication real quick. So, let's look at that. Did you say a negative plus a negative equals positive? Yeah. For that rule, that. A negative plus a negative? Or for the one you just did. A negative times a negative? This is a negative times a negative, right? Oh. Because it has a parenthesis right there. Okay. Yeah. Parenthesis means times. Okay. Okay. I did it. Oh, well, you were, were you here for the chart that I did a while back? Or not? My first week was last week. Okay, so here's the deal, real quick. Multiplication um, plus over, or no, my bad, sorry. Plus times plus is going to be plus. Plus times minus is going to be minus. Minus times plus is going to be minus. Minus times minus is going to be plus. Okay? That's your multiplication. That's the table. Division. Kind of similar. Plus over plus is going to be plus. Plus over minus is going to be minus. Minus over plus is going to be minus. And um, minus over minus is going to be minus. I mean plus, excuse me. So that's kind of the, the situation with division and subtraction. I mean division and multiplication. There's different kind of one off rules when you go um, addition and subtraction. So, um, Hmm. Number seven. No, number eight. What do I do? I have a negative five. What does our symbol look like? What does the symbol look like? Based on the table. What does the end result symbol gonna look like? A negative. A negative, right? Because what? A plus over a minus. Minus over plus. Minus over minus. Number two over there is going to be minus, right? 
goes negative eight. That's 40 divided by positive eight. <coughs> Good. So it's negative five divided by, or no, times six. Negative six. What is that? Third positive. Positive 30, right? <coughs> 30, 30, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so now that that's it, evaluate this. Three times negative four times negative one times negative two equals, there's three negatives and a positive, right? Yeah. With that being said, folks, Three negatives gives me a negative answer. Do you agree? Two gives you positive. One more gives you a negative. And a negative times a positive is a negative. <coughs> so four times one is four times two, or negative two, right? Is negative eight times three is negative 24. Your results will be negative because this right here is negative 12. Then you get this part of it. This right here, the negative times the negative is a positive 12. Then you got this right here. Positive 12 times negative 2 is going to be negative 24. That's the breakdown you want to see that. Okay? Any questions on that? Any questions? Okay. Do y'all remember that commercial used to come out back in the day? Come out. This is your brain on drugs? Uh huh. The egg. <laughs> yeah. Did they stop doing that because they had less drugs happen? Is that what happened? No, I doubt that. It just kind of disappeared out of the out of the commercials, like you know what I mean. That's Probably got old. Came up with a lot of other different drug commercials. Yeah. <laughs> they got. <laughs> 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 like the ones where they blame the parents. Huh? <laughs> like the ones where they blame the parents. You yeah. taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> Hot mess, man. I was like, I was, I was wondering where they came from because I ain't seen those in a hot minute, you know. <laughs> So negative four squared. All right. This is like amongst the same of negative four times negative four, right? And negative times a negative is a positive. So sixteen. Positive sixteen. And then here is going to be a negative times a negative, which is a positive times a negative, which is a negative, right? Yeah. The answer is going to be negative. 3Q is 27. Perfect. Okay? 27. That's it for number 10. Okay? Shoot, two more problems, y'all. That's half, that's half the test already. And ain't nobody really had no problem. So, number 11. Evaluate. x squared plus 7x plus 4 when x equals negative 6. It, when x equals negative 6. <clears throat> All that means, y'all, is to plug in negative 6 everywhere you see x. Okay? I'm going to do that. Negative 6 squared plus 7 times negative 6 plus 4. Okay? So now what's my next step? 6 squared. Huh? Negative six squared. Which is? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Hold up. Somebody said negative 36. Oh, I'm saying negative positive. times a negative. It's a positive. It's a positive, right? All right. 36. Seven times a negative 6 is negative 36. Negative 36. Negative 36. Negative 36. Negative 36. Negative 36. Minus 42 plus 4. So 36 minus 42 is going to be negative 6, right? Plus 4. And then the higher number is 6, so it's going to take the negative answer. 2. Negative 2 is my answer. Check. Okay? Again, head down, very simple. Do y'all know what that, what that is? What is that over there? It has those lights flickering. Do you know what that is? It's a tower. Hmm? Tower. Tower? What tower? You know, like the satellite tower. Probably a man's club. That right there with oh, the, no, the green lights. You, you don't know. You see that with the green. Blue yeah, it's and probably like a men's club. Yeah, probably. Men's oh, club. Yeah. Clubbing it up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I had a part-time job. No, just what kidding. What am I saying? Wait, wait. <laughs> just wait, kidding. Wait, wait. <laughs>
Put him down the net. I think that's what it is, though. I can't. That girl said, where them dollars at? Where them dollars at? All right. So, two-thirds plus one-fifth. This might be where your trouble comes from. But, pay attention close enough, I got you. Oh, I thought that was me. I got to do a model lesson for two of my teachers tomorrow. It's going to be fun. I get to display my, my playground. You know what I'm saying? They get to walk in my path. It's going to be fun. All right. So, two thirds plus one fifth. <coughs> what is the common denominator? What? Common denominator. What is it? Hmm? What is the common denominator of those two? Three and five? Fifteen. Fifteen. Perfect. Oh, okay. that's what you're saying. Some of y'all, are y'all vertical people, vertical learning people or horizontal learning people? Either. Either. I don't want to see this. Both. Both. Hmm? Both. <laughs> Both. What a F. Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> so, here we go, 15, right? So 15, oh, this is green. All right, so 15, <laughs> right here, and then 15 there. Three goes into 15 how many times? Five. Five, five, five times two is? 10. So 10 over 15 plus five goes into 15 how many times? Three. Three, right? Three times one is three, so three over 15, right? So common denominator, and we get 10 plus three, which is what? 13, right? Over 15. Now, for my vertical vertical people, I'm going to go like this. This one may make more sense to you. So 15 and 15. We know that to get 15, we have to multiply 3 by 5 to get 15, right? So what I do to one side, I do to the other side, right? Times 5, boom, times 5, 10. Times 3, boom, times 3, 3. Plus, that's my new problem. 10 plus 3 is 13. Same thing. I'm a pretty big fan of the vertical way, only because that's just how I, be, how I operate. Although I can do both, as you can see. Okay. Any questions? Wait, how did you get the uh, 15 or the 13? I'm sorry, take it. How did you get the 15 on the second part of the problem? No, up on the uh, horizontal one? 15 and 15, how did you? So, the common value was 15. We just knew it was 15. So, you would have to know that these two numbers, as you reach, like, what you have to do is, like, 3, 6, 9, and 12, right? 15. You keep going until both of these equal 15, right? Yeah. Because 15 already there, right? Oh, okay. So, we know that that's why it's coming down. Okay. Alright, so now, multiply number 13. 2 and 1 half times 1 and 4 fifths. Now, I'm going to convert this mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Okay? Mixed fraction to improper. Y'all, how do we do that? You take um, the, the first one, it would be 2 times 2 plus 1, so it would be 5 over 2. All right, let me find out. You already know what it is. Okay. And then the next one would be 5 times 1 plus 4, so it would be 9 over 5. All right, cool. And then what? Um, yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, then, uh, and then what? I guess, um, it right? is, um, I just did this in the pie last week. Um, Cancel, right? Yeah. The two numbers look the same. Yeah. Take them out. Not over two. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Any questions on that? Okay. Fourteen. We're more than halfway down with this. There's no major, major issue, y'all. Y'all can open look, y'all. Y'all. There's no way. And it's open book. Oh, 
Someone oh, actually had have? Book, Someone failed before? Yeah, like, not like in this class. Oh, oh, saying, oh. In general, oh. <laughs> in general, people, like, when I was in college, right, in undergrad, they'd be like, open book test. Now, sometimes even professors, that they'd be saying open book, but they'd be really be making them answer hard to find for real, so it mm -hmm. takes more time for you to find mm -hmm. the answer and best for you to know it already. But with this class, if you just take notes, there's no way. That's why they failed. They failed this test. I mean, you know what I'm saying? There's no way. Because <clears throat> technically, look at me. Y'all lucky because I wouldn't have no open book nothing. Because I think that it's just you should have innate knowledge to do this stuff. Like, you know what I mean? But my tests were when I, when I taught high school math. My tests were always harder because I prepared my kids for like the worst. You know what I mean? And by the time they got done with everything, they were straight. And they perform really well, and they, you know, were out there doing great things in society because they were taught how to be logical thinkers. Versus, you know, hey, here's an answer, here's where to find it. You know, you got to search for it. You know, so to go up, one third minus one fourth. Again, what's the common denominator? Well, well, right. Mm -hmm. Horizontally, I'm gonna do twelve right here. 12 right here, 3 goes to 12 how many times? 4. 4, four times, and then 4 goes to 12 here? 3. 3 times, so the answer is 4 minus 3, which is 1 12, 1 over 12, 1 12, right? Almost like 1 12, y'all yeah, don't know about that, y'all. Y'all yeah, know about room 1 12, y'all yeah, were there last night. What? <laughs> she was like, no. I caught you in room 1 12. She stopped that real quick. She said, Let me stop you right there. Come to room 112, please. Cassidy came through 112 and everything. So, on number 15, okay, write your answer the fraction of mixed numbers. So, four and two thirds. Divided by four and a half. First thing we do is convert to what? Multiplication. <coughs> mm, we're gonna get there, but what do we do before that? Huh? Okay. Go to an improper before we do anything. Now, when we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the what? Red. What was the right? Oh. We flip it. We flip it over. Put fourteen over three. Times, right? This is converted to 9 over 2, but we got to flip it to 2 over 9. Like that. Okay? And we're going to get 14 times 2 is 28. 3 times 9 is 27. That is our answer. Check. Done deal. Okay? Very simple. Any question on that one? That's 15. Let's go to 16. Correct. Negative three halves equals negative two seven x minus nine fifths. Solve an equation. What is the first thing we need to do to solve an equation? The goal for solving an equation is what? To what? Solve it. To isolate x, right? Yeah. Or to solve for x. So, <coughs> that being said, I gotta get one of these guys, <coughs> excuse me, one of these guys on the other side, right? So, I'm gonna add 9 fifths. Why do one side? I get to the, huh? Another. Other side. So, add here, add here, boom, cancel that. Drop, negative 2 7 7 equals. Mm, I gotta do a side problem real quick though. Negative three halves plus nine fifths. Common denominator at this point is ten, right? Put ten there. Put ten there. Two goes into ten five times, so it's really negative fifteen over ten. And then plus five goes into ten twice. That's eighteen over ten. So negative fifteen plus eighteen is what? 
Three. Three. So three over 10. That was my size problem, that close here. So now it's three over 10. All right, so let me move it up a little bit. Three over 10 equals negative two seven x. Equals negative two seven x. But I'm not done, what do I do next? I gotta isolate the x, I gotta do the opposite of multiplication, which is what? Division. Division, so I divide by negative two seven, right? When I do that, I multiply by the reciprocal, do you agree? Because <coughs> it's a fraction, right? Mm -hmm. So, x then equals 3 tenths times negative seven over two. Which then equals negative 21 over 20. Check. And that's my answer. Okay. What are you left with? I was trying to write it. So when I'm trying to write Go ahead. and listen, I just get lost. Oh, you just kind of want to chill for a second? Okay. No, I, I mean, I just got lost because I was trying to do both. That's, you know, what I mean. Explain it one more time. Okay. So on this one, here's our original problem, right? You want to ask what's here. So, we're gonna add nine fifths to both sides. Do you agree? First step. Okay. When I do that, I get negative three halves plus nine fifths. So in order to do this problem, I had to find the common denominator of um, these two, which is two and uh, is ten, right? So I put ten up here and ten up here. Two goes to ten five times, so five times negative three is negative fifteen. And then five goes into 10 twice, so nine times two is 18. At that point, negative 15 plus 18 is positive three, right? I get three tenths. I move that over here as my answer to this. Because I do a side, I do a side problem to the problem basically, right? And so three tenths equals negative two seven x. I divide by a fraction, so I gotta multiply by the reciprocal. So three tenths times negative seven over two, put my flip over like this, and nothing goes into anything here, so I multiply straight across. Three times seven is 21. Um, five, or two times 10 is 20. And that's how I got there. Okay. Any questions on that? All right, now number 17, though. Do the Let's see if we can get it the first time around. Now, so it says 60 runs start a race. In the first half of the race, one third of them dropped out. What's one third of 60? 